Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman Karate Go Jiu Jitsu. Going to show a rear bear hug defense. I've used this plenty of times throughout my life. Uh, I'll show like basic ways and then kind of like variations of the same theme. So, I guess someone that comes up and bear hug you, usually this is when someone else is coming to hit you in the face. Again, I said that I, I had this happen and a guy was hitting me in a, in a stick when I was 16 in the face. So, you got to get out of here pretty quick. So, number one, I can't get choked and I can't get suplexed. I got to move my foot out and bring my hands up. Now at the same time, my butt should be banging back into him. And really, on the street, I'd throw my head back and possibly catch him with a headbutt. Okay, so that's step one. It's all got to be simultaneously. Wrestling stance, football stance, athletic stance. Here. From here, I'm going to trap, and I'm going to semi-circle, half moon behind. I'm in a strong squatting position, and I'm going to lift up and also twist, okay? And then I'm ready to come to a knee on chest, knee on belly type position. This is usually the best way is trying to rotate them. There's other ways you can pick up the slam on your knee, like being a Batman. You can uh, kind of go on a side mount, but this is kind of the best way. So here, out. Okay, here, out, here, and come on. See, I'm like throwing them to a good spot. It's very. Easy. Right away, I gotta get my base so I don't get thrown, right? So here. Oh, the good throw on him. It worked pretty well, keeping my awareness looking for multiple opponents. So there's a very kind of basic defense. It's all about this half moon footwork. Okay, behind. You can grab both knees, one knee. You can grab the gi if he's got a gi on, whatever. Um, kind of variation on the theme. As I'm here, I can kind of make this more like Kung Fu, Bakwa, something. Throw them that way. So I can kind of come in with kind of this thing. That works. When someone tells you, you can always practice simple leverage principles like Hicks and Gracie talks about. As long as I have connection to them instead of out here, or it doesn't really work. But if I grab, if I get connected to them, you can lift the guys. Just kind of important stuff to know. Um, so anyway, get kind of working here, break the guy's structure. Different things you can do. Let's switch. Well, what if the guy's bigger? It's just not as easy to rotate him. It might end up ugly. That's all. So big guy grabs, you got to watch him picking you up, taking you to the car, to secondary location, self-defense, other things. Lift me off the ground. I don't want this to happen. And I don't want to be slammed to the ground. Okay, so right away, out, around. Strong, strong, strong structure. And here, he's still rotated around, even when I did it slow. Sometimes it's harder with someone heavier, but very good way of doing this technique. I think she kind of semi-circle around a little bit. Right away, hands go up, book comes out, here. That's okay, I knew that was gonna happen that time, so I just kinda improvised. Real big guy, here, you go here, grab both legs, and lift, and slam. I can do that kind of thing too, instead of trying to rotate them around. Grip. Again, I can come fool if I wanted to. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, thumbs up, thank you very much.